Okay, so we have all the parts so far that we need. So I'm going to make the other ones visible, right? The pin and other things, and go back to the main assembly. So I can move the crankshaft, I can move the pin. You know, you can add the colors. Hopefully you guys have been adding colors to yours. Um, and I will go over here to insert, insert component. And I'm gonna look for the ones that I made. So I made the connecting route to assembly, insert. And I can place them there. Yeah, that's fine, which I can move. And you can see how it's shown you know, as two different things. We have two sub components, so it shows as a sub assembly that we made, right? But each one it still has their individual uh, components here. So we have to start, uh, you know, mating some of these things. We still gotta add a couple of screws. So what what we'll do is we are gonna be adding some of the screws before we start making some of the uh, other matings or joints. So we are going to hopefully this works. If not, you can always insert a fastener. I can just, yeah, reverse precision, doesn't really matter. Uh, everything just go back to the center, but they're not, you know, joined. Uh, you can select, you know, some screws that you like that have the same measurements. So uh, you can flange or hex neural. And in this case, hopefully this works. We're gonna go over here to insert Mac Master card component. Click there. It will open up like this kind of like shop where you can buy different screws. In this case, we're gonna be searching for a specific screw screw or bolt. So we are gonna go to screws and bolts. Uh, we're gonna go find a certain 12, 12 points. And the, we have, I think it's the one half. A thread size, well, we'll find that later. So over here. Is uh, let's see what we have. If not, we can always just look it up over here. And the lookup code is 9127. Oh, we can also add some old rings that will be helpful for our cylinder. But 271A760. Yeah, this one's these are the ones we have. one half, 12 point screws, alloy steel. So click on those, it will open. All right, and make sure that you guys, I mean, what we're gonna do, don't click on 3D SOLIDWORKS, make sure that you guys save this as a um, step, a step and then click download and it will be downloaded into your um, here program. So let's just move that up, here we go, okay. So yeah, we have a screw there. I think that one fits. And now you know that that's fine. It doesn't matter for now. So where I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click right here, click on copy, and go to the main assembly and click paste. And yeah, so repetition doesn't matter. And just move it to the side. And that way we can have whenever we're doing our counting, there will be two of those. All right, so everything's here, it's just good. Um, all right, so let's start doing some of the things. We just have one more part that we need to do, uh, which will be, we'll, we'll show you in a little bit. So um, let's make everything first. So we are going to, doesn't matter which one you do first. In this case, I wanna, let's close the joints over here. So let's do uh, joint, I look to this center over here, to this one, and yeah, let's do rigid, so okay. So now this is a rigid joint. Now let's add the screws in there. But for the screws, I have to do is click uh, join, click on the bottom face, and then click on the center and we'll go to the center here 
and there we go. They are center. Uh, and okay. So I think it's just fit just right. And let's do the other one again. So let's do join the bottom of the screw. Press control, click that center. And then make sure that you join it with this over here. Make sure it's the center. There we go. And it should be center. And we have one of the assemblies done. All right, so let's continue. So let's do another one. So let's just bring this pin down. Right now the head should be uh, fixed. So let's do uh, join here to uh, this center right here. And we can move it like that. Yeah, since about maybe a little bit less. 15, yeah, I think it's about there, about the dance shape seems uh, good. So, and let's do, let's change this joint. Uh, edit joint, this one will actually be the motion, will be Revolute. The Revolute, Revolute, okay. We're gonna edit some of the limits later. All right, another one that we will do, it will be the inside here, first control, and over here, this one, center, and also, you can see the motion, revolute. So if this is the wrong axis, you can always change it here. Press OK. So, so far, we can see that if we move it, we have that position right there. All right, and the other one will be joining, will be the center here to this center here, like that, also revolute, press OK. And you can see we have our shape, it's taking place, we're almost done. We just need to do one more thing. All right, so to continue with the assembly, what I'll do is I'll change some of this distance. So back to the crankshaft, I will edit and make it bigger. So well, not that one. It's this one, edit feature, and it will be, oof, okay, let me see this one, this one, there you go. There you go, it's 20, it should be 50, I like a 50, okay. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing now is gonna make the last uh, support, the last link before we do the engine block. So while we're on the main assembly, create, create sketch, select this face and do a circle of 60 to 70 millimeters. So mine gonna do 60, you can do 70, doesn't really matter. And finish the sketch. Go to extrude, select that face and extrude it back. I think mine have it, how many millimeters? I have um, 40, so we can do 40. And instead of join, we're gonna go over here and create new component. Press OK. Now the component is there. We're going to go over here, right click and ground. So now while this is grounded, you can see everything's good. So now everything should be able to move. OK, so now we make that. Let's make sure that we unground the head. All right, so now that like that, that we unground it, we're going to be uh, mating this thing. So you can see that in this case, the faces are parallel or they're touching. So I just move this back. So let's go to join this face with this face or this edge. All right, and revolute so that way they're touching. So, okay. And now everything should be moving except for that part. And if I rotate this, everything rotates. So let's go back to the previous one. And I can stretch this. So you can see we can move it, but everything's kind of weird. So let's go reverse position and let's make the engine blocks. Let me just do some of this one. Let's change some of the rotation to 180. And this rotation right here 
will be zero. And let's see. No, this, this one will be 180. This one will be 180. There we go. All right, so let's create a new sketch. Let's select the head of the, yeah, so it's counter position. That's fine. Let's select there, the head of the cylinder. And let's do a center rectangle. Right from the center, let's do 220 by 220. Okay, and let's go to create project. And let's select this outer edge of the circle. Okay. And now it's it's made there. So we can go to finish sketch. Okay, so I'm gonna go extrude. It doesn't matter how much for now. For now, it will be fine. 25. Yeah, it's a new body. We're gonna do new component. Okay. And we are going to ground that one as well. And then we're going to assemble this. So join this phase motion. Yes, yeah, slider. If it's slider, so you might have a revolute. So make sure you select slider. Press OK. And now every time I move, it will be like that. So let me turn off that component. Uh, we can rename it later. Just it's still there. And if I go to joints, then slider or Revolute 7, which is the last one I made, I go right click. Animate joint relationships, and you can see that all of my uh, assembly moves all together. So uh, this is, you know, how we edit this one. So it looks really cool. So now the next video, I'm just gonna show you how to continue modifying the engine block, but we're essentially done. So make sure that you have all the things, you have all the parts, everything's name, correct uh, materials, and then I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, and to make it stop. To make it stop moving, just double click on the main assembly over here and it will stop. All right. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.